Hieß du eine Beerdigung? Hoch, oh, yes. I'm back once again and why am I back? Well, I'm going to another football game. I'm lucky enough to be invited at times to different football games and they both happen to have been at the Indigo Stadium. And obviously in the times we're in right now where everyone's just gone into tier four, I'm lucky enough that I've been invited to this Aloha game. It was long in the process of planning and stuff, but if it was a game elsewhere in the country, I wouldn't have been able to go now because of the restrictions etc. So it is literally just down the road, keeping to all the restrictions, wearing masks etc. But co-commentary for Aloha Athletic vs Wraith Rovers on Boxing Day. I hope you've had a very Merry Christmas, I hope you have a good New Year when it comes and hopefully we can put all this year behind us and get into New Year with a vaccine coming eventually and getting back to normality. You've heard everyone say this over the last nine months, I don't need to say it for you again. We're going to a football game, I'll take you along with me. Obviously because I'm on co-commentary this time, I'm on commentary with Kieran at Aloha. If you've watched the stream, if you're an Aloha Ray Throwers fan, let me know how I've done. But of course because I'm on doing that now, it won't be the same type of video. It won't be a match day vlog where I can update and tell you about things that happen in the game as they happen. I'll try and record wee clips but I won't be able to speak to you apart from half time, full time stuff. So. Let's go. I'm expecting a good game. Hopefully, a Boxing Day Bonanza. Jenny's offered to take me the day. How nice of her. Beds, mattresses and bedroom furniture. Hurry. Offer ends Monday. The Eagle Eye to you would have spotted the uh, haircut that I gave myself because I couldn't really go to the hairdressers and now they're shut for three weeks so I'm glad I've done it. Hit the road. Struggling. Aloha coming to this game in quite fine form actually. Two wins in their last five games, that being their previous two games as well, so six points in the last two games, brilliant form for them. And coming at the right time as well because obviously teams can get caught down the bottom of the league, we're seeing that with the likes of Broth and Queen of the South. And if Aloha can win the day and results go their way, they could find themselves I think five points clear of our Broth and six of Queen of the South. So. It's a good incentive for them to go and get three points at home. Their opponents though, Wraith Rovers, come into this on lesser form really. Two draws in their last two games and a loss prior to that as well. Their last five looks like draw, win, loss, draw, draw. So, not the best and they've not played since two weeks ago because Hearts were playing the Scottish Cup final last weekend. So, they do have a game in hand but it is at Tynecastle against Hearts. So, it's not the best game you have in hand because Hearts are expected to win the majority of games they play this season. However, Wraith Rovers, they might be keen to get back out on the pitch and get three points on the board and if results go their way, like Dunfermline losing our growth today, hopefully not, then they could actually jump ahead of Dunfermline into second place because they've got a better goal difference. The main men for both the teams, Robert Thompson is Aloha's top scorer in all competitions with five goals, Alan Troughton's up there as well, and for Wraith Rovers, Manny Duku is the main man. Eight goals in all competitions, only three of them come in the league alongside Frankie Masonda, who's got three goals, and Daniel Armstrong, who's got three as well. Right, we are here. Cheers for the lift. Face mask on, obviously. Got my temperature checked, need to sign in, track and trace and all that. And then we'll get in and show you the stadium. He's always signed in, and now we're going to the stand. Here's the new set up right here. So, you know, we're testing out microphones, technical difficulties, etc. Lewis over there trying to sort out the stream with two different cameras. Here and here, main commentator, and me, obviously, co commentator. And uh, see how it goes. No, I've done this before. Testing times, but here we go. <laughs> so, we've got the team sheets here. It's a pretty standard Wraith Rovers lineup. I think Ian McDonald's the main omission for there. And Alan's team looks a bit like this. They've still got a couple of injuries with Stefan Skugel and Alan Trout now. But you've got Lee Connolly on the bench who can come off and make an impact and top scorer Robert Thompson as well. So I've got the second highest scorers in the championship against the team who are on fine form and probably one of the form teams of the division in the last couple of games at least. So looking forward to it and hopefully there's goal system. Because the last one was here, goalless draw, no entertainment. So hopefully 
Half time, 2 0 Rovers. I have to say that Wraith Rovers deserve a lead here. There's been obviously the two goals. Manny Duku, free head on the box. It was a disappointing free kick for Allen to give away. Um, certainly, they didn't really have to give the foul away prior to the free kick. Um, but as I say, Manny Duku left free in the box and headed it straight in and got his ninth goal in all competitions this season. And the second goal came from Alva, went up the pitch and crossed it in. Um, poor cross, straight into the hands of the goalie. And Wraith, within 30 seconds, had the ball in the back of the net. Fortuitously, you'd have to say, because Danny Armstrong drove down the right hand side and put a cross in, turned into a shot because it went right in at the back post. So, Alva can get themselves unlucky in a sense for the second goal, but Wraith have been the better team, passing the ball out just. Overall better, more quick and incisive, and Alo have just been lacking that bit in the final third. They've definitely had confidence in their play, and it's just not looking like their heads have gone down essentially, but uh, I think they are just deserving of the lead. Have thoughts so far then? Pretty familiar to the last game against Inverness last Saturday. Don't take anything away from Wraith Rovers, I think they've been pretty phenomenal. Manny Duku and Armstrong have been different class, but Alo are really struggling to create anything up top. Um, Buchanan's having a tough afternoon, not much sticking up front, but mm. never write out, never rule out this Alo <laughs> so fingers crossed going into the second half. It'll take a lot, but fingers crossed. On that basis, prediction? Prediction, well... I'll say 2-2, two -two. can I say that? Uh, go for it. <laughs> I, think, I feel like I'm obliged to say that. <laughs> no, uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. If we get anything out of this game, I'll be very impressed and very surprised. But um, next goal is so important. Aye, very crucial. Well, it's been a good experience on Coatcom so far. Uh, hopefully, if you've listened in, Ray for all of our fans, again, let me know how I've done. Um, let's see how the second half goes. Yeah. Oh. And it's a great opportunity there from Ennis Murray. He raised it well over the bar. He's really got to get that on target, doesn't he? Definitely. Very good chance. All you need to do is keep that down. It's probably testing the goalkeeper at the very least. He'll be disappointed with that. Full time here. Alva 2, race over 5. Good experience on cool commentary there, really enjoyed it and a very good game, 7 goals. You can't really complain at that, even though it's absolutely freezing here, if you're getting 7 goals, I'm just not going to complain. It was, some of the goals were brilliant, some were very fortuitous, it, was, it had all this game essentially. Ethan Ross especially, the 5th goal for Wraith Rovers, jinking and jiving in between everybody and slotting that away, his second goal of the game in Wraith's 5th. Um, Alla at times got themselves back into it but then shot themselves in the foot far too often to hope to get anything really from the game. But a good advert for the championship as a lot of folk tend to say. If you can catch the highlights of this game I suggest you do because it was a fantastic game of football and uh, I'm glad that I got invited along. Your thoughts on the 5-2 drubbing, I suppose? Yeah, 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 afternoon, I think I should have stayed at home with the, <laughs> with the Christmas selection boxes. No. no, like you were saying, a fantastic game of football. I think from an Alloa perspective, just so frustrating. Mm -hmm. You get yourself, you work so hard to get yourself back into the game and um, then you give away a silly foul or you just a lapse of concentration to pick up your man. Sometimes some goals like the uh, Armstrong goal and the Ethan Ross goal, you just have to say crazy bit of luck or crazy bit of skill, but mm -hmm. three, three out of those five goals that Allah conceded, you could easily say that they're very easily avo avoidable and that will yeah. be very frustrating for, for Peter Grant, but hopefully we've got Morton next weekend, so it's important they don't let the heads drop, hopefully get some players back from injury because they are working on a kind of very small squad just now with mm. so many injuries, I think. You could have fielded a whole team with them out of all of those <laughs> sitting behind us this afternoon. So fingers crossed for next week. But um, yeah, it was it was an enjoyable game. If I kind of take my Alva specs off, mm. <laughs> like the two-two prediction at halftime, perhaps. Exactly. Well, see if they just did, just like I say, see if they didn't um, concede those three silly goals. Then mm. yeah, two-two. <laughs> <laughs> you can claim it. Well, cheers for inviting me down. Uh, really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please go a like, comment down below and subscribe for more of this type of content if I get invited to another ground when we're out of tier 4. <laughs> um, but aye. Cheers for watching. See you later.